I credit they did not suffer consequences. Okay, moving on. I want to talk about lightning nodes real quick because I'm getting tons of questions about them. And I, again, I think the number one people are getting number one reason people are getting start nine servers is to run a lightning node. If you want to do that, that's great. I don't think that's why you should get one. I think you should get one to enable and and fully encrypted chat between yourself, your friends, and your contemporaries, and and be the 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 way to do that to manage all of your files, to manage all of your passwords, to take control of your digital sovereignty across the board, not just with Lightning. If all you want to do is turn up a Lightning node, good news, you can do it in about five minutes. There's a service called Voltage. I'm not endorsing it just yet, but you can go set up a Lightning node for twelve dollars a month. And if you don't know what you're doing, which I don't fully yet. Um, you can sit there and look at it and it doesn't do anything. Okay. So, and there's going to be more and more services like that. But let's talk a little bit about the, just the general question is running a lightning node profitable? Can you make money doing it? Again, is running a web server profitable? The answer is it can be. And there's lots of ways running a web server can be profitable. One way is you run a server like I do. You host a show, you put out content to lots of people, you sell advertising and memberships with it, you maintain complete control of your content so no one can shut it down, and you distribute your content by doing a show every day, five days a week, all over the world. And because you're running your own server and you're running enough horsepower, you can can have millions of downloads of audio files a month, and your server doesn't crash, and somebody doesn't say, we don't like what you're saying, so they shut your server down. That's one way. Well, you could also take the same box that I own, especially if you have a guy like Tom who helps take care of it for me, and say, I don't want to do all that. I'm going to sell web hosting. So you could pay $700 a month for a big badass, you know, metal box like I have sitting in a colo facility. And if you sell hosting for, let's say, $50 a month, once you have more than 14 customers and you pay your Tom or you you be your own Tom, you're profitable. Okay. You could also buy really cheap hosting, $25 a month, $20 a month, $15 a month from HostGator or somebody, Bluehost, whoever. Throw up a website on it. That's all you do. You run a little website, not a great big giant website. If you sell $5,000 worth of shit, that's pretty profitable unless you're selling at a loss, which is a different problem. But when you do any of those things, And this is why it's exactly like running a lightning node. And we have to stop thinking of a lightning node like running a mining rig. They're so different. Let's take the easiest one to understand. You got your little website, joeblowslittlewebsite.com. And it does Joe Blow's widget sales. And you set it up on the internet. Great. You have a website. There it is. And you can turn it up that quick. You can go to a host, automatic install WordPress, throw a theme on it. And with very little skills, you can put together a five-page website, who we are, what we're all about, Here's our blog. Put a blog post in every day. And here's our widgets for sale. Install WooCommerce. Boom, you are ready to go. You have a full operational online web store. Okay. It's actually a little more technically difficult, but a little bit better understood at this point in history than it is setting up a lightning node. And what do you have? You have a store in the middle of the Mojave Desert. No one knows about it. There's no you know, giant I-95 or I-20 going straight by it. It's just sitting there in the middle of the desert. And then you have to basically build roads to it. So we get some links from other websites. We get into search engines, and we start doing something called marketing. And eventually, we're building roads to the site. And the more roads we build to the site and the better we operate the site, because we can build the same number of roads, the same amount of traffic to two different websites. And one website will never make a single sale and the other website will make money because it's done better. It has a better widget, it has a better sales funnel process, it has a better better content, whatever. It looks, whatever. But you, if you don't build the roads, you can have the best site ever, best product ever, best pricing on it, best customer service, and you make no money. Without getting into the particulars of running a lightning node today, a lightning node is the same but different, man. It's like that. And I think one of the reasons to learn more about lightning nodes is because if you understand how lightning nodes work and how what they call liquidity exists on the front and back side of it. See, when I first heard this, I misunderstood it. I thought it was more like proof of stake than it is. It's kind of like proof of stake, but it's not. I figured that just meant, well, all I got to do 
is take $1,000 worth of Satoshis and deposit it to the front side, $1,000 on the back side, and there I am. I have $2,000 worth of throughput liquidity. 1000 on the back, 1000 on the front. Doesn't work that way. You're using something called a liquidity swap. And what happens is you have two nodes, and you can send, send money to yourself. And that opens up the back channel. And you can send money through somebody else's node. And if you go to do that, if I go to send money through your node, you're probably going to open up a channel. Okay? You're going to open up that channel. And when, when I send money through, some, it's going to hit on the back side of your channel. And some of your liquidity on the front side of your channel is going to go out. You still, let's just say we're going to use a number like five. Five sets, five Bitcoin, five jelly beans. Doesn't matter. And, and right now you have one jelly bean on one side and four jelly beans on the other side. I sent a jelly bean to this side. You now have two on the back side of your channel, right? And you've let go of one on the other side of your channel. So instead of having one and four, you now have two and three. It's confusing, but it's called liquidity. And you can even partner with other nodes that are active to do something called liquidity swaps, which is, get this, exactly how global banking works except it's not global banking. I'm not going to get into that today. But if you understand lightning, you will understand global banking. And as soon as I realized that, I understood lightning because I already understood global banking. And those that want to say that means it's fractional reserve or whatever, it's like saying we have this thing called a car. And the way we make that car go is we grind up children and pour the remains into the gas tank. Because it's not a gas tank. It's a ground up children tank. And the car goes places, and, and that's that's how it runs. And then somebody comes along and says, I think that's a bad idea. Here's a better idea. What if we make a car that has a bunch, bunch of batteries in it, and you plug the car in to an electrical outlet, and the car runs on electricity? Don't worry about your prejudice against electric vehicles. We're just going to jump there so we don't have to get into the fossil fuels thing. And by the way, those that want to can get a full kit, you can put these things up on your roof to catch the sunlight and they'll charge a car. It costs more money. It takes more work and you have to learn some technical expertise to do it. And the response is, that's just another way to burn up children. Well, that would be stupid. Well, fiat currency is grinding up your children's futures and enslaving them in debt. Using Bitcoin to do it is not. The analogy works. And so it's not the same just because it works on the same principles of liquidity because you change the underlying fundamental from a liability in debt-backed fiat currency to a fully capped asset that's digital and liquid 24-7 around the world. So just for those of you that are like, fuck, he's over my head. I'm sorry. I have to give both sides of this. But those of you really excited about running Lightning Nodes, you're going to have to learn about all of this. And then you'll open up profitability in many ways. One way you can do this, you build a badass node, you can actually sell liquidity to other nodes that, that need liquidity. Because maybe I just build a badass node. Maybe this guy's building some sort of uh, technical application, uh, something for serving merchants or something. He needs more liquidity. He'll buy an opening in the channel from me. That would be one way. You can charge fees for the sats that flow through. There's a lot of ways to monetize. And the people that are going to do the best are going to get really good at managing a node, or they're going to run applications that when they pull that into their node, they're pushing lots of traffic through their node. It's like running a website. 